for sure. So I'm Steve Jellings, I'm the CEO of Vantage Media. Vantage is one of the largest pure performance-based search agencies in the country. So by performance-based, I mean we spend our own money to, to drive uh, quality results to our clients. We pay for all our all the development requirements, all the landing pages and microsites, we build out all the campaigns, we buy all the media, and then we deliver uh, whatever the results our client is looking for directly to our clients, and our clients pay us after we deliver those results. So we take all the risk out of the program. It's kind of like me walking up to you and saying, I'll tell you what, you give me $10 and I'll give you $20 back. And so it's a, it's a really effective way of generating new business for our clients. We have today about 140 clients across the country. Um, we have many clients in the, in the EDU category, as well as insurance companies and uh, online dating companies. Um, we're, we're very strong in the moving industry. For every major moving uh, van line company in the country uses our services exclusively. And so we've been able to develop out uh, the programs that we have uh, based on the technology platforms that we've developed. And uh, it's going to go off pretty good. People like $20 for 10. Yeah, the math seems to work pretty effectively. So it's not uncommon for us to, to come into a situation where a client um, you know, may be spending significant am amounts of money on paid search today. So for example, it could be spending anywhere between $100,000 and a million dollars a month and just not getting the results that they need. And when we come along, we, we benchmark and back test all of their existing data and then we come up with metrics that are acceptable both to the client and to ourselves and then we go to work. But our goal is to increase volume and increase it significantly. And so we've had some incredible uh, results with our clients, situations where we've increased volume you know, on the low side anywhere from 50% in our most successful situation, we actually increased traffic to our client by more than 500%. And so those are pretty crazy numbers, and, mean, and doing all of that um, at the same at, at, a, at, a, at the same or less cost per action than they were doing before. So enabling them to really, really grow their businesses off the backs of our online capabilities. So you could go to someone spending a million a month in pay-per-click, take the same money, and get them a lot better results. Get them a lot better results. We have situations today where we've actually reduced our clients' monthly spend and significantly increased the results. So um, increased lead volume, increased lead quality, most importantly, increased conversions. At the end of the day, our clients don't really care about the leads. What they want is the results that those leads deliver. So if it's for insurance companies, it's selling auto policies or homeowner policies. If it's for in the dating world, it's getting new subscribers. If it's in the moving industry, the, you know, the metric there is cost per booked move. So they want, they want to make sure that they can actually go move a person. And so we've been very successful in helping our clients and significant size clients grow their businesses. So what is the inhibitor to faster growth? I mean, there's $30 billion profit to Google a year. Nearly any one of those could benefit by working with you, correct? Definitely. Do you have some kind of uh, self-help program in the works where more people could be come on board? So it's not so much a self-help program. Um, it's, we're in a situation right now where um, paid search, which is you know, the bulk of our traffic, it's so complicated, it's so competitive, it's so difficult to write, and there's so many things in, in, that, in, that, in that click stream from the impression through to the conversion event where things can go horribly wrong. And so we've developed tech, a technology platform that manages every step in that process. So from, from having the right ad text, to the right landing page, to the right <coughs> conversion process, to the right form, to the right amount of content to get the results that our clients are looking for. And when there's so many variables in that stream, most clients just aren't equipped to do it. I mean, they've got a, they've got a business to run. And so when we, when we can take over and manage the side of the business for them, it becomes very cost effective and a very simple program to manage. So what about scalability? I mean, obviously, the more you do for them, the more complicated it is. You're trying to automate as much as possible, but there's still, what, 20% of it has to be done by humans? Yeah, there's a percentage that has to be done by humans. So, I mean, we, we have humans that check every, um, in every uh, ad text that goes out, it gets checked by, by humans. We want to make sure that it's not, you know, that, doesn't, that it has to make sense. 
and, it, and that it works and it converts. And so th there's a certain aspect that is, um, is still human-based, but from a scalability perspective, it still scales like crazy. And the key part here is just having all the mechanisms in place that can capture all of the data that's required. This is a very, very intense data industry. And we, we capture every stick of data that, or every action that takes place on our network, we capture all of it. We're then able to take that data, analyze it, and decide what to do next. And so it does scale. It's a, it, it scales incredibly well. So how much, relative to where you are now, could you grow 50% of your volume, your dollar volume, 100% of your dollar volume? Or it's also constrained by, since you're buying it yourself, it's also constrained by capital? So, um, in, in our particular case, we're very well capitalized. So we have the ability to add clients and, and grow the business pretty significantly. But our forecast right now for our performance agency, we will grow in 2010 by more than 50%. More than 50%. So that's, that's pretty, pretty significant growth and uh, we think we can maintain those levels of growth for a few years to come. The key part for us right now is just making sure that enough um, prospects get to hear our message. And sometimes when they first hear it, it sounds a little too good to be true. But once they taste it, they understand it. So we're in that sort of unique situation where every single one of our clients are referenceable. And I'm not, I'm not aware of an agency out there today um, that can make that same claim. So your turnover is not very high? It's zero. Zero turnover. It's, it's, you know, it's, so, like it's a great business. What about partnerships? What about an agency that's got clients and they come to you and say, look, I would, uh, I'm trying to get leads from my guys. I'd like to basically go out and find 20 people that are spending all their money on Google and bring them to you. How could they fit in the, uh, in the puzzle? Could they help handle that for them or would they just get a commission they have to hand them off? How could they kind of maintain control of their their stable of uh, advertisers? It's a great question, and it's actually one of, one of my key goals this year. So we're in the, in the process right now of talking with several of the large agencies um, in the country, um, introducing them to our performance-based model, because they all have clients today that are spending significant amounts of money on search, and in a lot of cases, they need to improve the performance, and we have the technology platform that will allow them to do that. So we do have the ability to partner very closely uh, with agencies and actually uh, have them utilize our, our platform to take back to their client base. And once they do that, they will be able to deliver significantly better results. Uh, if an agency was involved enough, they had 10 clients and they ran all the business through you, could they learn enough about it where they could use your platform and they could do a lot of the work themselves with, with your company supervision? Um, it, it's not really. Um, it is like the, the platform itself is complex and it's designed to be used internally as opposed to, a, to, a, to a, 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 an external platform that can be used by, by different organizations. Where it really works though is most agencies do several things for their clients. They might, so they may do their search, they may do um, their display, they might build their website, they could be doing a bunch of their offline advertising, do all their, creating, doing all their creative messaging. Um, and so they can still do all that creative messaging and, and you know, control the brand experience. And really, all, all they would have us do is just come in and take over that search component and we do it on their behalf. There's still plenty to do. Uh, what about, uh, how do you pay commissions? What kind of commissions do you pay to the agencies? Yes, we, we would pay, a, we would pay a, a, a typical agency type commission uh, in there. They could, they could take our services and pass it along to their client with their typical agency commission in place. And so they can actually make the same amount of money as they're making before and have to do new work.